So it's finally official, y'all. We are moving to Los Angeles. Tell me what can I do now? Ain't it always funny? Hi, everybody. I I've been telling myself for the last couple months, I can't wait to get up out of here. But here I was just looking out the window and I started crying uncontrollably. As someone who doesn't really consider themselves as an emotional person, man, I was wrong. You know, you really don't realize how much of an impact a city has on you until you leave. You know, I'm forever grateful for every positive that has happened in my life forever grateful but i'm even more grateful for all the negatives all the hardships all the negatives that i just you know overcome throughout the years because honestly without it i don't know if i would be the man that i am today but yeah excited man i can't wait to start this new chapter this new journey and all that but yeah let me enjoy this last day and um i'm gonna pick back up with y'all tomorrow when we leave and then we're gonna dip out to la all right on the count of three, say it with me. Ski. One, two, three. Ski! <laughs> so, quick little update. My homies, they uh, helped me move. You feel me? And I got this bag full of uh, shoes. And I don't have time to donate them, so I'm gonna drop them off in like a little random alley. And hopefully somebody who's homeless or something uh, just takes them, so. I would leave that shit right there, dog. Where? I leave that shit right there. Huh? Right huh? Uh, if you in Philly by any chance, uh, I'm dropping off a bag full of shoes right here. Have fun. All right, man, be safe out in these streets. Three, two, one. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, has anybody ever seen a dead body at the airport? Well, if you haven't, boom, it was a first for everything. I am tired, down bad. I did an all-nighter. I was outside last night with a few friends. Then I linked up with my cousins just to say my last little goodbyes and stuff like that. And everybody's been asking me, like, how do you feel about the move? How do you feel? Like, you know, is it hitting you? And honestly, no, no. <laughs> like, I feel like I won't know until, like, the guy actually give me my keys like this, you feel me? And then when he give me my keys and I'm in an empty apartment with an air mattress, that's when everything will kick in. But right now, I am tired. But hold up. I ain't even give y'all a uturu. What's good, Joe? We at the airport, you know, something like, let me break down the fit. You got this, uh, this hoodie from Prestigious Garments. The MRCA sweats, and then we got the Travis's. You know, some con, what can I say? Even my worst is your best. If Jake used that in the song, just know I done copyrighted it here first. But yeah, I board in, what, 46 minutes. I'm gonna probably take a nap, and then when I wake up, I'm gonna go on a plane and drink like two mimosas in first class, and then I'm gonna take another nap. I love that for me. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm just chatting. Call that man Young Chat GBT. Tech. You got the little one. So cute. Nah, that's hard. I appreciate you. Yeah. I was supposed to have my keys today, but I was supposed to give them a check and a piece of like a document that I did not have. I overlooked the email with the instructions upon like move in date just because I've been doing a lot these last couple days. So today is Saturday. I go to Michigan for a brand thing on monday morning so i won't even officially have my keys until 
I want to say what Wednesday yeah today has just been a roller coaster of a lot going on but we're still blessed at the end of the day I got friends that live all around the area so right now I'm at my homies Dante and Chrissy spot they blessed me with the little Nike like a little uh what was it it was a, a bear brick with the Nike tech fleece on super fire but yeah we're going to keep it pushing we're going to keep it moving it's still like I'm like I don't feel like I'm like I don't feel like I live here bro like look at the view right now it just feels like one big vacation and I don't feel like I'll like feel like I'm moved in or like really live here until like furniture and all that is like actually in my house you know so we gonna move and uh I'm gonna check in with y'all once I have everything figured out all right do you see that view view is fire bruh listen look the only thing right like my last place since it was so high up i didn't have to worry about this but since you have buildings and other like balconies one thing that i'm a little upset about is that i can't be walking around my apartment but booty naked it sucks it's either that or I'm gonna give people a free show. So I'm gonna have to roll a blind down and you know, just do it that way. But I'm finally here and I feel great. You know, it's finally like settled in. Like I know the first day that I got here was a lot because I had to show up with a check, didn't do that. So once that happened, I went to Detroit, Michigan for a Cadillac event, came back here and you know, got the keys and all that, but it feels good. It feels unreal. It's just a dope feeling that you know, I've only been self-employed for, I wanna say like the last three years, 2020 during the pandemic, like that was like my breakout year. And I just remember saying, it's my dream to be able to create for myself. It's my dream to just live life on my own terms. And then once that happened, and when I was in my first law building, it was just like, you know, this year, I wanna accomplish this, and then I'll do that. Then I seen, uh, it was like 2021, I forgot what month, but I was like, next year I wanna be in the high rise, did that, and I always wanted to be in LA. And it's just, it's crazy how fast your life can change in so little time. I know Meek Mill, right, he posted this, and it's like one of my favorite quotes, and he'd be like, one year can change your whole life. Like one good year can change your whole life. And that's honestly so true. Like if you lock in and tap in and just really go hard, bro, I'm telling you the outcome of life, like things just happen so fast. Like at heart, I'm still like this kid from North Philly running around outside. I'm still this kid who used to be in his mom's basement just playing video games and stuff like that and doing little shoots for fun. And now I'm here, bro. Like, it feels unreal, bro. I'm, like, I'm honestly happy, but I will do an apartment tour, but I'm gonna give y'all like a little quick glimpse cause I can't give y'all hanging like that. So hold up. This is what the apartment looks like. You got the little kitchen out right there. Cooking videos is about to go dummy. And then you also got a uh, bedroom in there. And then as we walk over here, we have another bedroom. Listen, listen, look, look. I wanna show y'all so much, but I feel like if I did like a empty apartment tour, that would just go dumb. But the only thing that I'm a little scared about is this right here, look. <laughs> I done been skydiving, I done been like crazy heights. I've done it all, right? But this right here, ugh. LA is you is you dumb? <laughs> Look, let me show y'all this view. Yeah, had to get away from that. But every single time I'm on a balcony, I just be like, dang, what if I just do something real clumsy and then I trip and fall? The next thing you know, they be like, influencer, you know what? We gonna knock on wood, nah. But I'm gonna be in this space for, I wanna say like a week and a half, no furniture or nothing because the moving company is gonna take, I wanna say, what, like a, a week and a half, maybe two weeks to deliver everything. So that's that. Let me call my mom and show her, show her that her son done made it, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. 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 I think he did. 
Take that step to me though. Flow too clean. I'm bite by new tuxedos. Been this shit since now. Later popping and buying hot Cheetos. The free throw. Easy. Please believe me, baby. Bought a Tesla, bought a Rolex watch, and I ain't dreaming, baby. Scheming, baby. Dina raised me. Really from the section with them killers. Drug dealers. Thug. Never got a hug from pops. They need some love. Lick of mess and not the pain. So pull up. Never not too far from it. Everything. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time zone you in. Hope you're feeling blessed, highly favored, all the above. Right now, I'm drinking some mud water. Disgusting. <laughs> I know this is starting off so random, but it was my homie's uh Dio birthday yesterday, right? And as you guys know, if you've been following me along like this whole fitness journey, I've been like intermediate fasting because I'm not going to get into like the whole logistics. I'll bring that up in a, a different video, but I would wake up and I would break my fast because pre-workout had sugar in it. So he gave me this before I was drinking black coffee, right? Because, you know, the caffeine, like when I work out with no pre-workout, I just be feeling like, uh, oh, who's the do 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 I'm finna just walk in there and get a workout in and it just be so boring. But this right here, this is a pre-workout that has like nothing that can break your fast, but it tastes like coffee, cold coffee. But it is what it is. We finna knock this down real quick. Bro, that was disgusting. But today is a new day. As you can see, I got me a nice little air mattress the other day. And what I, when I first was imagining doing this video, I wanted it to be so curated, like a farewell when I finally left and, you know, coming here and then struggling for a couple days to, you know, my furniture come and just do like one whole like masterpiece video. Like I'm a perfectionist and if everything don't go my way and, you know, I just, I don't know, if everything doesn't go my way, and then I feel like I'm just all over the place and I don't want to half ass anything. But you know, I said today I finna just give y'all a raw vlog. Y'all gonna see the ups, y'all gonna see the downs, and basically just see me thug it out for a couple days. My furniture doesn't arrive till Thursday, so it's just me, this air mattress, and vibes today. But we got a lot of things on our plates today. We got to get these sheets from Dio, probably go to Target and just get a couple things for around the house. I'm over here living crazy. I don't need to struggle like this, you feel me? So yeah, let's do it. But first we got to start the day off with a little workout, bro. Bro, we in this together. We struggling together, air matches and all. Ew. And I still taste that nasty pre-workout. It's disgusting. <laughs> Houses and police cuffing, we ain't have nothing. House was cold, we were open oven. Now we eating good, just hold ice, let's put buns in oven. Bakeries linked up with quitting and started making cheese. Sushi overseas, the server, she speaking Japanese. Flights to Paris, I'm at the Louvre to see Mona Lisa. Got a Desenata with rip seats and all your leaks. Kick it shit like Messi, little Nick. You shouldn't test me, right so good. Just started working on my lefty. I'll be climbing up the charts if these let me getting everything that's mine i'm charging uh, i'm pretty sure when i slide there i might think of some things don't worry all right bet bet i'm uh i'm about to call my uber i'll be there in like probably like 10 minutes or something like that all right bet i feel like i feel like once i finally get furniture and all that it'll be cool but yeah. uh i'm gonna shop around because i know black friday about to come up yeah. and it just looks sort of weird yeah. but once you put something once you put something aside and then you realize like how how much of white black Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it helps contrast. Yeah. I literally just ordered one on a damn. This bitch. Ooh, that bitch, one hundred and twenty dollars <laughs> for real? Like a hundred? Like yeah. Oh my god, those are the uh, the purple ones. They're probably like. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. You know, you know, on my channel they call you uh, uh, young uh, double eggs. Young double. Oh no way. Young, young boiled eggs. Young boiled eggs. What can I say? You know, uh, it's another another year of life, and young boiled eggs is gonna continue boiling eggs. <laughs> <laughs> So we literally just got back from Dio House. He gave me the whole little basket right here. You know, we love free stuff, but I ordered some stuff from uh, Target and he left it at my door. Now this is going to be like the test where I get to see if, you know, I get to fill my building out and see if anybody robbed me. So uh, let's see. Made it back in the house, Target bags were safe. We just came back from Dayo, and Dayo gave me this $120 pillow, you know, sound light, and he gave me these sheets also. So we're good, we can have a nice, 
sleep today. And while we're talking about pickups, my homie uh, Dante and Chrissy, they gave me this as a housewarming gift. They gave me something else too, I'm gonna show y'all. But you know, Ice Spice, she says she love a dude in Nike Tech. I don't be wearing them, but you know what I mean? I be throwing oops. I'm gonna get an oop to my man. <laughs> and then we got the little mini me right here. This is fire. You know, I love art. I got me, what, one, two, like three little characters at home that should, that should be here in like a, a couple days. But then the next pickup, now y'all know, y'all know I got the Roly. So what's better than a small Roly? <laughs> a big Roly. Are you kidding me? Are you dumb or is you dumb? Look at that. Uh, this is really not a stopwatch. It don't never stop. Uh, this is fire. You know, I got that locker that's at home. I like collecting like just random things and things that like when you walk in, you say, oh wow, that's fire. This is definitely, definitely gonna go into my apartment nice. So I'm excited for that. And also my homie Luce, he also sent me a bunch of shoes. You know, you see the fur inside. I get to lounge around the house with no socks on. I love that for me. And then the last thing, Leslie, she sent me this. It says, rude that you're leaving, but okay, bye trader. Hey, let me get out to sunlight. This is probably like one of the most like heartfelt gifts that I've like ever received. And I'm not putting, like friends, if y'all watching this, no shade. I love everything, but I hate gifts. And like I said before, I'm not really like a sentimental person, but when you drop certain things and you just allow like feelings to come and you allow people to just like show love in their way, you know, I like it. <laughs> I actually like it. She left a little note in here too. It's fire. And then, you know, I love burning things. I love my scents. So she also sent like a few candles. I love the color black. Black and like white candles, you know, is always good for the aesthetic. I'ma definitely burn these. And then on top of that, we got a few low cone incense. If you ever watch my videos and you wonder like what I burn, it's either incense or cones. I love the cones. I feel like you get more smoke. And then on top of that, you know, we running out of pages on the journal. So I got me a journal right here. It says, Ryan, I love that for me. I feel like this whole, these last couple of days have been a lot. You know, I haven't even been in LA for more than a week. When I first got here, I couldn't get my keys and then I took a trip to Detroit for Cadillac. So it's just been a lot of back and forth, but I kind of want to end this video and, uh, you know, just, just kind of settle in a little bit more. I still got a couple of videos to edit and stuff like that, but I'm decorating my air mattress. You know, it's always like, I really, really, really want to express like how much I love y'all and just how much the love that y'all give. Like when y'all send comments and, you know, tell me how videos affect y'all, or even if I see people in person and y'all show love, like that keeps me going. You know, I feel like with this whole YouTube stuff, the reason why I started it is because it connects. Like when you do Instagram, it's like you post, you get off, but YouTube is more intimate. Every single time I'm having a conversation with one of y'all, it feels like y'all are family. And honestly, like I genuinely, genuinely appreciate y'all. Y'all keep me going. I'm glad these videos keep y'all going, but <sighs> we got a long next week ahead of us. So let's knock it down and uh, I set up this air mattress. <laughs> You really don't realize how much you have until either you move in a place or move out. Then you start seeing boxes and you're like, bro, I don't remember getting all this. So yeah, a project that I thought was going to take a few hours. This is going to be my whole day project. I got boxes to the left of me, boxes in front of me. It's a lot. And on top of that, I haven't eaten all day. I tried to door dash some Chick-fil-A and they tried to upcharge me like 60 bucks. All I ordered was some fries, a chicken sandwich and some nuggets. <sighs> oh man, and I'm sick. 
I'm down bad. There's a lot going on, y'all. But we're finna get through everything. I want to start putting boxes away, but I do have like an Instagram post for a clothing company due tomorrow. So I think I'm going to put this on pause. I'm going to get this outfit off. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to get back to this. So come on. Let's get through the pain. Let's get through the pain. That's really, really cool. Hello. 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 We are finally making progress. But so far, everything is looking uh, pretty good. I am going to end up like changing this sofa and this rug. I'm going to end up getting something different. And then the paintings and such like that, I'm going to put that in the hallways. But the bedroom is finished. Everything is looking good. But unfortunately, um, the time that I've come to la there just happens to be so many things going on my friend has premieres i got to go to a, a friend's giving and all that as well so i haven't really had time to like really be focused and locked in and just trying to make this move as you know fluent as possible so we actually got to get ready for friends giving in like 20 minutes this is insane hold up hold up i feel like it's crazy that <laughs> like i'm just moving in and matter of fact, let me not make excuses. So this is my plan, right? For Friendsgiving, you gotta bring something that starts with your name. So T, Teron for it, uh, tequila. And then uh, I was gonna do like, cause I also tell people whenever I introduce myself, I say Ron or Teron. So T for tequila and R for like ravioli. But the Italian spots here, they won't let me buy like a bulk order. So I'm gonna just do what I know best and then get me like a Dave's hot chicken like combo and just get like a bunch of like chicken sandwiches and a bunch of tenders. They gonna, they gonna get what I can uh, provide. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go to this Friendsgiving and We'll pick up this packing stuff tomorrow. Hopping in here just saying hello to the vlog. Hope y'all doing it, feeling well. Over and out. What's the burden? What's the what's the burden? Yeah. Get away. West Coast, we bring them all, all the greats to the West. You feel me? For the West Coast, Chicago, for the best souls. Morning, bread, shit. Shit. Talking about. I, I, I see you. I was, I, was, I was working on my jumper before I came out of here, so don't even worry about that. My knees are just old now, so that's all I got to work on. I got to get my cardio up, brother. Nah. You about to die today. Yeah, I know. I know that Rob moved to LA so he could be by a raw bitch like me. Wow. He could pick up some of the steeds, you feel what I'm saying? It is right you keep it natural stay in your bag like you wearing satchels hey baby you a guy saying guy saying guy saying just missing the sandals but still you ain't missing much Put your hands on my back just a different touch but your to my plate, I don't skip the lunch, I don't skip the brush, not the dinner neither. And we got that close, not a centimeter. Get it in between, it's all you two turned up. Never turned down though, when it's big energy, when I come around though. So, 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 don't ever switch. Know you've been looking, won't find it like this. Know you've been looking for the head of them curves. I'm Jimmy Johnson with this, uh, I'm Jimmy Johnson with this. Listen, I know what you may be thinking because I sent it to a few friends and they said this man got a whole moped in his crib. Look, 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 what can I say? <laughs> this is the Yadea Trooper 01. And I'm actually excited because like if y'all was following me back when I was in Philly, I had like this electric scooter, which was cool. But one, you know, I caught a flat. I'm not going to talk about that. And then two, it was like me being like a 6'2", six 6'3", six you know, grown man. Sometimes I felt out of place just because I was so huge on that scooter. So I felt out of place, right? But with this, like, 
I don't know, hold on, let me, let me get on there real fast and you tell me. <laughs> look, 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 I'm rolling through the block, right? And then you see me, all black, all black outfit on, right? And I'm on it like this, you feel me? I feel like it looks perfect. So, I'm a high key go to the gym because we haven't went yet. Um, and it's a gym like seven minutes away, so it's the perfect time to test this bad boy out. Ugh, look at your fine ass. <laughs> Let's go. Just like a last woman I run, whatever you need, I'm trying out the line with the d uh turn on the lights, take a flick. Uh just don't be running this shit. Hey, I can see you as my chick. You know what? I'm not even gonna lie. As weird as it may sound, I kinda miss being home already. It's just something about the your Dia Trooper 01 that gives me that nostalgia feeling of just riding through the streets of downtown Philly with literally no worries in the world. It rides smooth, has a kick to it, goes up to 56 miles with pedal assist, and when I want to get my legs a break because I'm getting old now. My knees, my legs ain't legging no more. It has most like eco, mid, and high that goes up to 20 miles and just allows me to sit back and actually enjoy the ride. Nice. Yes, sir. I did not see him. We just made it to the gym. The lightning in here is OD, but I just gotta go park it out there because even though like the little uh, battery thing is secure, so people in LA because they do DoorDash and because biking is like popular out here, people will snatch the batteries. But luckily, like it's secured. But just to make sure, I'm gonna go park in there. But as y'all saw, listen, I was ripping and rotting, flying past everybody. You feel me? <laughs> That's cool, man. Listen, take care of my baby. Yeah, no Take care of my baby. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see you cross the finish line. Uh, feeling like Jimmy, I give you this Johnson. Know you like filming that content. All in your bank and I never pull out. I just like making deposits. Yeah, you keep it natural. Stay in your bag like you wearing satchels. Hey, baby, you a godsend, godsend, godsend. Just listen to sandals. But still, you ain't missing much. Put your hands on my back, that's a different touch. Put your to my plate, I don't skip the lunch. I don't skip the brunch, not the dinner neither. Bro, one thing I will say about downtown LA, it is loud down here. Like the part of Philly I was at, like you was not running into this, but workout is finished. You feel me? I don't know what it is, but like I've been super, super tired. Maybe it's the time zone switch, and maybe it's all the outside that I've been doing, but like my body, I'll do like one workout, one superset, and I'd be huffing and puffing. But luckily, you see me? <laughs> you see me? This thing right here, if we click this right here, it says eco, and then it goes to mild, and then it goes to high. So, I'm finna be lazy, and I'ma let uh, this bike take the wheel. So, let's go home, and uh, Let's go get our lives together. Uh, you see me? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Bro, I forgot this joke got kicking it. <laughs> Look, shit, I chase here to make some real shit. Something that they feel shit. Cause all I know was speaking on some shit I really deal with. Like how I f and in the morning didn't feel shit. Was tired of being single, so I went and got a real. Like how my homies quit and left this rap. So now I'm grinding dolo in they absence, no, but I'm still sticking to the plan cause I mapped it, no, and I don't care about going slow, just not backwards. I put in so much hustle, dog. It's all about that muscle, dog, yeah. Trying to make it out the struggle, dog, yeah. Hey, watch out this bubble, dog, yeah. Look, Nick don't really want it that bad. I see it clearly now, but me, I really want it that bad. My grind is eerie now. First, I write the songs, mix the songs, and shoot the videos on my iPhone. Shit is serious, you hear me though? I ain't got no label backing me, it's just me and my girl. So when I blow up, I'ma give it a whirl. Cause I'm overly focused and overly thorough. When it's all said and done, they're gonna build me a moral. I put in so much hustle, dog. It's all about that muscle, dog, yeah. Trying to make it out the struggle, dog, yeah. Hey, watch out this bubble, dog, yeah. I put in so much hustle, dog. It's all about that muscle, dog, yeah. Trying to make it out the struggle, dog. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I've never done this before, but welcome into Teron's kitchen. You feel me? Look, I've been doing a lot. 
I've been in LA for two weeks and a lot of what I've been doing is ordering food and we cannot be doing that no more. You feel me? I ordered Chick-fil-A the other day, a $23 order turned into $60. It must be a scam. So we're not doing that no more. So I'm gonna tell y'all what I got because low key, I'm trying to get my gym games back. So starting with the first thing, we got three things of tofu, scrambled tofu, bro. People, they be sleeping on it. Oh my God. <sighs> bro, I just forgot that I don't got no seasoning in here. All my seasoning, I left it in Philly. See, here I thought I was about to have a nice home-cooked meal, bruh. You know what, we gonna handle that later. But I got the scrambled tofu right there. I got the Beyond Sausage, Beyond Burger. Over here, we got some lamb chops. I be dipping in and out my vegan bag, but I ain't all the way vegan. We got some shrimp for when I wanna do like a, a shrimp Alfredo pasta, and also for when I wanna do tacos. So that's that. Got the chicken, but the thing with chicken is, I don't know what it is, bro, but I be getting disgusted by chicken. I don't know, I'm like a, a fake vegan, so that's that. We got potatoes, because what is a breakfast without potatoes? We got our veggies, broccoli, peppers, carrots, and all that. We got uh, uh, the strawberries over here, and I don't know, dang. Oh, bananas also for when I wanna do my little uh, protein shakes. Got some bagels for when I wanna do something quick. Oat milk because we don't do dairy, if I'm lying. Because we definitely got heavy cream for the pasta. <laughs> My bad. And then to top everything off, you know, I try to, you know, limit my snacking. But this right here, this bitchin' sauce with these chips is absolute fire. But I'm gonna put all this away. And dang, bruh, I really ain't get no seasoning. Pain. So cold, it take it slow to let hurts. So deal when you look at me that way. It resists the pull, but I try. Hypnotic, making you weak. Erotic hurts. And I want you to want me. Yeah, I want you to crave me. Words cannot tell you how tired I am, bro. I feel like I've been doing the most for like the last couple weeks. On the upside, you see my baby over there chilling, looking all fine. And you see the sunset. Sunset is setting over there too. LA is beautiful, man. One thing that people have asked me, especially last night, cause I was outside. They was like, how does it feel? How does it feel that you're finally out here? And to that, question i've been in and out of la probably since like 2015 2016 so it's nothing new but what i will say is being in philly my life was very living alone ish like i would dip out and see friends every once in a while but i had a lot of acquaintances but not a lot of people that i seen on the daily and even my close friends, I didn't see that much because my routine is wake up, go to the gym, film, edit. And I would do that so much. I've been on the ground for so long to the point where, you know, it's good because of you want to see your goals met and the rewards that you get. But being in L.A., and I'll put a thread up, I'll put it up on the screen. You don't got to tackle everything by yourself. You don't got to live this lone wolf, you know, F the world, I'm going to do this by myself. Sometimes it's good to ask for help. It's good to be around community. Community goes a long way. It makes you a better person. And just being here, you know, I've recognized that a lot of my friends, they, how can I put this? Certain things mean a lot to them and you know i can admit i can be very selfish just because i've been alone i'm not in no relationship i'm not in none of that so it's me season you feel me but i've learned that you got to put people first and just being around everybody you know i've learned that and i honestly appreciate it you know people say this whole thing of you know and i want to adjust this people be like la is full of fake people and da 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 the world is full of that but if you're a good person if you pour good energy into the world you know, it's easy to separate who from, you know, it's easy to separate people. That's what I'm going to say. And so far, I've met nothing but good, genuine people. 
you know, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I did open the door for like 20 people, right? And I'll say probably like 13 didn't say thank you, but I think that's a rich people uh, thing. I don't think that's a LA thing because back home, I would do the same thing and people don't say thank you. And when I open the door and they don't say thank you, I say, you're welcome. Like I make it, you know, awkward. I make it, you know what I mean? So yeah, overall, I'm glad to be here. I'm beyond blessed, beyond grateful. And I honestly can't wait to you know see what life has in store for me i'm ready to grow you know it's so much potential that you know i know i can hit and that's unlocked then i'm just ready for it i'm ready for life and this journey and honestly i just want to end this video off saying i appreciate y'all i appreciate you know the support that y'all you know just bring to me and such like that it honestly means a lot but um yeah until next time i'm gonna end this vlog peace love blessings and all that and yeah. <sighs>